Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I <laughs> I have tried to make this video like three or four times, so hopefully we'll get it right this time. Um, so I just wanted to share with you guys today, I have started making um, cards again. I mean, I've been making them, you know, on and off for quite some time. Um, but I originally started out crafting as a card maker and um, I kind of got away from it. And then um, occasionally when I'm doing like design team stuff, I'll make cards out of mini albums and stuff. But um, I don't do a lot of like this type of card and I really want to get back into it because I don't want to buy cards anymore. I just think it's just such a waste of money. I have plenty of craft supplies and stickers and embellishments already made that it's so easy to just to put together cards for people. Um, so yeah, so let's get started. I'm gonna share with you a couple that I made and then I might put one on, put one together um, on camera. But this card right here, I actually made yesterday. It is so stinking cute. So I use this die set. It's the Spellbinders um, Small Die of the Month for May. So let me just take this out because of the glare, but um, so I did do, join their club. I've gotten like three or so um, so far, but this one just so stinking cute. So this was a small die of the month club. And then I also did the 3D folder of the month. I think that's where this one came. Um, I think it was this both from May and I don't know if they're still available, but if they are, I highly suggest that you get them um, because this set, this was only, well, I don't know how much they are if you, if the club is passed. If you're, if you do the club, this is only like $15 and the die, I mean, in the um, embossing folder um, is, the 3D embossing folder, I think is also 15. Um, but when you buy it after the fact, it might be a little bit more. And then it's also free shipping when you do the club. So, um, but if this is still available, um, you can purchase it. it. just, like I said, it might, might be a little bit more, but, um, I love this set because you, not only do you get these super sweet little, um, toucan and the parrot, but you get like these leaves, you get the little flower, you get like this vine and these really pretty heart shaped, um, leaves, you get these little sprigs. So, um, yeah, it makes like a really, really cute card. And I thought this background was like perfect, perfect, perfect for, um, this card. So I did use a regular, um, white base. So I just cut that out of some white cardstock. And then I have this, it's really hard to tell, but it has a very slight, like pearlescent color to it. And it's sort of an off white. It's a coordinations paper. And I, I don't know the color of it, but, um, I thought it was really cool to have like the white, almost like white on white, just, you know, different tones, um, as my background, because I did do my, um, toucan and my parrot in like pastels. And just so you know, I completely copied. Um, so on the back, let me show you real quick on the back of the die. Um, so they're, so Spellbinders dies always come like this. And then if you flip it over, they will always give you a sample card and then they show you exactly what dies cut out, you know, each character or each thing and what they actually look like. So it makes it really easy to figure out how to put something together instead of just having this and going, okay, where do all these pieces go? So I really, really like how they do kind of a step-by-step -step thing. And um, just because I didn't want to think about how to put together um, a card from scratch, I decided to 100% copy this one. Um, I just changed my colors and um, I just added like some little extra bling to it, but I, I, I literally pretty much just 100% stole that. So, but that's okay. Like, I think that's, you know, a, a form of compliment to whoever created that card because it's absolutely adorable how, you know, the, the birds, you know, they're, they look like they're like on little branches, um, you know, up in the, you know, like the top of the trees. So, um, super, super cute. Um, and just when I put this together, I just popped each of my layers up on a, like some foam. So this is under one layer of foam. That one's under two. This one's under one. Um, I, for his wing, I popped just the wing of both of the birds up on foam and the little hearts and that stem are popped up on foam. And I did that just to kind of give the card different depth and dimension. I thought that came out really cute. And then for the center of the flowers, I wanted this to be really blingy. So I added those really cute, um, they're almost like iridescent little um, resin flowers with like a little crystal in the center. And then I added these little crystals where there were these little um, flowers. So I just added those. 
but I think it came out so cute. And I love Spellbinders. Whenever they do a character, whether it's a person or an actual animal or bird or something, um, they have the cutest like facial expression. So they, whoever designs for them does such an amazing job with the, the facial expressions. So I really, really fell in love with these birds so so happy um and then on the 3d um embossing this is the first time i've used one of the 3d embossing folders and i just there's multiple ways somebody mentioned you can wipe your paper with like a baby wipe and then run it through um, but you do need to do something to slightly you don't want the paper wet but just give it a tiny bit of moisture so i actually opened the folder i sprayed the bottom of the folder just one quick really light mist of um, water and then put my paper in and then did it. So it, it, when it's 3D like this, it the paper will crack if it's not just barely, barely damp. It just needs a little bit of moisture um, and it gives a really deep, like pretty awesome um, impression. I mean, you can see like how thick that is. It's so beautiful. Um, and then, yeah, like I said, the, I did all the cards exactly the same because I just wanted to have, you know, three different cards. I just positioned my little bling in different spots. So you can see, you know, just they're just in different spots. But the cards are essentially the same. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to gift those. I think those are just going to be so amazing to give away. Um, and then I... I forgot to bring down the die set, but this is, um, I think these guys are called Potted Pals. Um, they are from My Favorite Things, and um, they make it really cute. I just love that these, the, the pot portion of the um, plant, or the, you know, the pot is like a, a face of an animal, so super, super cute. Um, My Favorite Things is one of those companies that also does really cute, like, facial expressions on their dies. Um, and then I just love like the plants and then, um, I just layered mine with some different, um, little like cabochons and, um, the flower came in the set, but these little things I just added and then, um, I added some different ones there, but, um, the, those are just like super adorable. And then here's the actual card, the card base, just so you guys are aware, this is from the greetery and it cuts out this whole, um, card and you just literally fold it over. It's like that simple. Um, it's, so this is a really easy one. And then I just cut a second layer because I didn't want the top to be this blue color um, because my pot was blue. So I found that really cute like stripe paper from the um, Hooray collection. I added this little piece of ephemera and this little standout from the Hooray collection um, by Crate Paper. And then um, just added him there to the side and then added a couple little um, foam stickers. But really simple, I already had this made, so it was just a matter of cutting out the card base and then just finding a few stickers and um, you know maybe ephemera to add to make this like really, really cute card. So you can do them you know, a couple of different ways. You can 100% create it out of all your dies and stuff, or you can combine like a die set with you know some fun stickers and standouts. Um, this is another one that I made, you know, I've shared this recently, uh, where this was a actual a mini album die set, but I turned it into a card and then just, you know, layered it up with some ephemera and some other, um, like shadow words and different things. So, you know, there's a lot of things that you can do, um, you know, to create cards. This is another one. This is like a little, I forgot the name of this. It's like a beehive mini album. I think it was by, um, KS Craft, and I just turned it into a card. So, you, you know, there's so many ways that you can make cards, um, but let's make one on camera real quick. So I um, did grab from um, the Poppy and Pear collection, I have the box card set. So this is a box card. Um, so that's, this has an envelope already and the card's already done for you. It's already cut out. Um, and then I am going to layer these like that. So let me just show you that real quick. I already um, added the tape just for purposes of uh, trying to make this video not like super, super long. Um, but yeah, so most of the time when I do a card, I do them the A2 size. And what I do is I start out with that A2 base. Um, and then I usually cut out 
on my next piece um, with about of an eighth of an inch all the way around uh, showing. So um, you're gonna do that and then that usually is my first layer. And then if I do a second layer, I'll go another eighth of an inch or you know something to that effect just depends on what you know what kind of paper I'm using because I like this has a striped paper so I really wanted to see that stripe so I think I actually cut this one a quarter of an inch um so you can see I have more of a border than on that one so I'm pretty sure I did a quarter of an inch all the way around and then um same with I think this piece can't remember now if this was an eighth or a quarter of an inch smaller I should have measured it all but um but you guys get the idea and like I said, a lot of you probably know how to make cards because I've received lots of homemade cards from people in this community. But if you are new to crafting or just new to card making, it's it's super easy, guys. Like, it's just a matter of, you know, getting in your stash, finding some cute, um, oh my gosh, it takes forever to get the tape off. Sorry, you guys probably can't see me, but on. Um, I think I'm not in frame, but I'm just taking the tape off. Okay, so I'm just gonna center these there, like that. So there's that. So here you go. I mean, already that's like super, super cute. Um, I did grab this little frame set from Poppy and Pear. And what I'm gonna do is, um, so I haven't used this yet, but I'm gonna add, I just want, like, I don't want a ton of sequins in here. So I'm just going to grab like a little, little bit and just kind of, oops, spread those out. I like my sequins facing upwards. And then uh, I want some pink ones though. Where's my pink? Where's my pink ones? Sorry, I'm kind of digging in here to grab a few little pink. Where are those pastel pinks at? Okay. So do I need, maybe put another one of those. Oh, I don't want the red though. I don't like red. Um, and I don't want to be in there either. Okay, so yeah, I just want a little bit, just so it just shakes around and makes like a little noise. So these little frames, this came in like a little frame pack. Um, I haven't used any of this yet, but what's so cool about it is um, it has the foam adhesive already there. So, this thing's gonna go together like super super easy so I want to kind of center this as best I can on my card and then I'm just going to push that down so oh my gosh so much easier right like how cute is that you guys oh my gosh how fun so I mean that's almost super cute as it is whoops you know I could put like happy day um I could add like Oh, that's cute. So like a really simple card, I could do that. Um, but I had already decided I just wanted to put this little guy on the front. Is that cute? So I don't think I'm even going to add that. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to. I just think he's so cute just on the cover. I don't know. This is like super simple. So you guys, maybe I won't put that down yet because I'm not sure. But there you go. That's it. That would create like a really fun card and then just have that little bit of sequin like that you can see kind of peeking in there um and then again like you know if you just wanted to do something like really really simple it just says happy day or like you could say happy birthday i think that'd be really fun um you know to give to someone so yeah that's it guys um i just wanted to show you those and then you know what this video hasn't went too too long so i wanted to just show you so I think I'm gonna work, so I showed you that die set, um, but I, oh my gosh, I wanna show you, I've showed you this I think before, but this was the March, but I, so I think I'm gonna make this next, like recreate that card. Isn't that so cute? Like that owl, oh my gosh, it makes me think of Harry Potter. It's killing me, I love it so much. And then the June one, look how cute those are. Oops, I should take those out of the package. I hate the glare on, um, I sit in front of a window when I film, so it glares quite a bit. But yeah, look at those guys. So cute. So stay tuned for those. I'll try to do those soon um, and make some cards with that. 
All right, you guys, that's it. Um, thank you so much for watching. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that little kind of project share. All right, we'll see you on the next video. Bye.